Hello everyone. Today's topic of discussion is feedback amplifiers. Now we all know that feedback amplifiers can be categorized or classified into two different categories. One is negative feedback type and positive feedback type. Now negative feedback amplifiers basically results in decrease in voltage gain. This reduction in voltage gain actually compensates for certain features in a circuit to be improved. And uh, for positive feedback type amplifiers, it drives the circuit into oscillations. Mostly the oscillatory circuits we know are mainly based on positive feedback uh, circuitries or operations. Now let us continue our discussion with negative feedback amplifiers. Now in the circuit diagram on your screen, you can see an amplifier with gain A and another amplifier with gain beta. So A is the amplifier which is being placed on the forward path and uh, beta is the feedback amplifier gain here vs is the input signal v out is the v naught is the output signal and uh, this circuitry this here is the mixer circuit now the arrangement for both the feedback types is almost similar in forward path will be having one amplifier with gain a and on uh, feedback path will be having one amplifier with gain beta only one difference we can notice is this polarity of the feedback uh, voltage for negative feedback uh, this to be provided as negative for uh, positive type type uh, the polarity becomes positive but for now in this case we'll be continuing with negative feedback type that's why we have considered this polarity to be negative now we can see that the input signal vs is being added in the mixer with a minus uh, vf signal which results in vi as the output and this VI will act as input to amplifier with gain A and its output will be V0. Now mostly in feedback networks, a fraction or portion of V0 is being fed back through an amplifier beta which is again getting mixed up or uh, subtracted out or added to the signal VS. There are four different uh, negative feedback connection types which we'll be studying shortly. But before moving to the connections, we must know few advantages of negative feedback. Now the very first advantage here is the higher input impedance. Second is the lower output impedance. To better understand this concept, let us assume a scenario. Now this is the equivalent circuitry of an amplifier in which both input section and output section are separated. V in is the input potential. At the output we have a load. RS is the impedance or resistance of source. R in is the input impedance of uh, transistor or amplifier circuit. And R naught is the output impedance of this network or amplifier. Now suppose our requirement is to get an amplified output voltage at the load. And RS is suppose greater greater than R in. If this will be the situation, the most of the voltage will not reach amplifier and will get produced across source resistance only. Okay. As there is no point in developing potential at RS, it will be of no use. That is the reason why we maintain Rn R in greater greater than RS so that uh, the greater potential will develop, develop across R in or in other words, we can say it will be having a higher input impedance. Likewise, if we'll be having R0 greater greater than R load, the maximum potential will be developing across R0 only. And uh, this will result in the wastage of uh, voltage within amplifier itself. And a very small amount or fraction of that voltage will be uh, reflecting at load. So to make maximum of potential available at load, we maintain this situation. I mean, uh, we maintain output resistance of amplifier lesser than, less less than the resistance of load or impedance of load. Alternatively, we can say that the R0 or output impedance is smaller. So to have proper voltage amplification in voltage amplifiers, we need to maintain higher input impedance and lower output impedance. So by having this negative feedback, we'll be achieving this condition. For better amplification so there are other advantages as well uh, like improved frequency response reduced noise more linear operation and better stabilized voltage gain 
but to develop the understanding of all these we just have to develop a mathematical understand understanding of the negative feedback amplifiers so let's do it so this is the same old negative feedback amplifier circuitry where a vs is the input signal vi is the uh, what we are getting after subsection of vs and vf and uh, v naught is the output signal a fraction of which is being fed through beta to this mixer so mathematically if i have to write vi i'll write vi equals vs minus vf right at mixer we are actually subtracting out uh, vf from vs right and what is the value of vf that is nothing but is equal to beta times v naught is it so this equation i can write alternatively as vs minus beta times uh, v naught right where beta is nothing but vf over v naught now we also know that vi is the input to the amplifier a with gain a and it will produce an output v naught right so v naught will be simply equal to a multiply vi or we can write it alternatively as v naught equals a multiply i'll substitute this whole thing here vs minus beta v naught correct if we expand the brackets the equation will become a vs minus a beta times v naught now let us take the v naught things on one side and uh, vs on another side so it will become v naught i'll take uh, v naught common from here v naught 1 plus a beta equals a times vs is it just rearranging this equation a bit we can write v naught over vs equals a over 1 plus a beta right or uh, we know this this v naught is nothing but the output potential likewise vs is the input potential so output over input is nothing but the gain voltage gain correct i can represent this voltage gain as a of f so this is the final value or i must say this is the voltage gain of this amplifier negative feedback amplifier now if we talk about the gain now uh, from this equation we can clearly see that uh, it could have been simply a if no feedback were there right but as feedback circuitry is introduced now you can observe that this gain a is being divided by this factor 1 plus a beta so that means we are having better control and better stabilization on gain or you can say the gain is basically reduced by this factor 1 plus a beta if i say more precisely about stabilization of the amplifier circuitry then we should know that uh, this particular arrangement is ha having an important advantage that uh, the resultant gain of the amplifier can be made independent of transistor parameters or the supply voltage variations actually for making negative voltage feedback in an amplifier to be effective the designers deliberately makes the product a beta much greater than unity right greater greater than unity so that uh, we can easily neglect one in comparison to a beta in the relation one plus a beta so ultimately this equation of gain becomes equal to a over a beta or i'll simply uh, we can cancel out this thing a with a so i'll be getting one over beta now from here you can clearly see that the gain only depends on this feedback fraction 1 over beta that is only on the feedback circuit parameters this feedback network is usually resistive in nature it is a resistive network or a voltage divider network that is why it remains unaffected by changes in temperature variations in transistor parameters and the frequency parameters right that is how it is offering extremely stable gain values and obviously the improved frequency response just like the improvement of uh, gain responses and frequency responses the negative feedback shows an advantageous side over distortions i mean it reduces the distortion or noises okay this equation which we have uh, derived for gain of negative feedback amplifier can be made applicable to distortions as well mathematically the feedback distortion value can be represented as df equals d over 
वन प्लस ए बीटा और सिमिलर इन सिमिलर वे वी कैन राइट नॉइज एन एफ इक्वल्स द फीडबैक नॉइज विल बी इक्वल टू एन ओवर वन प्लस ए बीटा वेयर डी एंड एन आर दी डिस्टॉशंस और नॉइज विदाउट फीडबैक एंड डी एफ एंड एन एफ आर दी डिस्टॉशन एंड नॉइज विद फीडबैक सो मैथमेटिकली इट कैन बी प्रूव दैट द टोटल डिस्टॉशन डी और टोटल नॉइज एन इज बेसिकली डिवाइडेड बाई ए फैक्टर वन बाय ए बीटा आर इज रिड्यूज बाई दिस फैक्टर वन प्लस ए बीटा सो दैट इज हाउ वी आर एक्चुअली अचीविंग द रिडक्शन इन नॉइज एंड डिस्टॉशंस इन नेगेटिव फीडबैक एम्पलीफायर्स नेक्स्ट वी हैव टू डिस्कस इज द फीडबैक कनेक्शन टाइप्स फॉर नेगेटिव फीडबैक एम्पलीफायर्स सो देर आर टोटल फोर फीडबैक कनेक्शन टाइप्स वोल्टेज सीरीज फीडबैक टाइप then voltage shunt feedback current series feedback and current shunt feedback now the terms voltage and currents are being used to define the connections at the output side of the network likewise series and shunt basically defines the connection on the input side of the networks voltage term actually refers to the connecting output voltage as the input of the feedback network current actually refers to the tapping of some current uh, from the output section through the feedback network likewise series uh, refers to the connection on input side uh, we have uh, actually connected the feedback voltage in series with the input voltage vs and for a shunt connection the feedback current is being connected in parallel with the input current is i will elaborate on these in upcoming videos till then thank you and have a nice day